Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shelburne. I have with me Doug Peterson, and today we're making the fruit tingle number two. The fruit tingle? Yeah, we've made a fruit tingle before. Uh -huh. And then MHATT89, I'm going to say Matt, sure. said, no, try this fruit tingle. So I am. Fruit tingle. Yeah. Like tingly? He said that the, how do you say this? Parfait amour? Sure. Is what brings the tingle. Oh, okay. And it makes your insides all tingly. Yeah, you know what? I gotta find. I, I gotta find out. So we're gonna have some Sprite. We're gonna do an ounce of grenadine. Okay. An ounce of vanilla vodka. Uh -huh. Is it fruit tingle or yeah. fruit tingle? <laughs> fruit tingle. Two separate words. Two words. One syllable. I don't really know the syllable for one syllable. Fruit is one, and then tingle. Tingle. Yeah, two. Two. Um. Anyway. Uh, yeah. An ounce of grenadine. Ounce of vodka. Vanilla. Because you couldn't have anything that's just normal. It's going to be sweet. Uh, half ounce of blue curacao. Uh, I hate that. Half ounce of parfait amour. Oh, we've got the grenadine going. We're going to shake it. We're going to chop it with Sprite. Let's do the breakdown. Those should be in this weekend. I mean, no, Monday. What's or that? sometime. The gravity release jiggers, the knuckle jiggers. And knuckle jiggers, is that what they call? Yeah. <laughs> and it sounds kinda of Neanderthal. <laughs> Blue Gazelle. Uh, uh half ounce. Half ounce you of what? That? I got the blue right here, yo. I'm just gonna use my knuckle to tingle. There. And that looks so lost and lonely in there. You're gonna get all that all in that little thing, huh? Oh, yeah. You made the whole drink right there. We could I just did. drink it right out of the measuring. You could. Just squish it in your mouth. Just, I don't, don't knock it over. I'm, oh, I don't want to know. Oh, you, you could have knocked it over right there. You gotta work harder at that. Because that would make a good episode and a big mess. Okay. Pee it in there. I'm so scared of spilling it. Why? Just was. You're silent peeing. Yeah, this is really no fun. <laughs> I, I, I think it was it was because it was so syrupy. Mm. Uh, it's all just, the ingredients, you know, between the grenadine. There's nothing the, in here that's not syrupy. Yeah. So this is one of our first usage usages, although we're half gone because of all the uh, the kids making um, what do you call those things? Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. But Shirley of our Temple. stirrings. Cool color. So for people who didn't see the Stirrings Grenadine review thingy that I did, uh, this is as close. Have you had this, Doug? Yeah. Straight? Yeah, it's really good. It's like pomegranate. It, it, sweet. It's like sour. Or, no. Yeah. Simple syrup. Pomegranate yeah. simple syrup. Yeah. It's really good. Which is also known as grenadine. Really but you good. never know that when you're looking at all those Mixes. other grenadines. Put it in your refrigerator when you're done with it, though. Okay. 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 We're going to shake this up right now. Did you see the color? It's blue. It's oh, gray. Yeah. Blue and the gray. Yeah. You have to watch that movie in high school? What? What's it called? The blue and the gray? The Civil War? No. Yeah. Did we have to, you have to watch the Civil War movie in high school during that years you learned about the Civil War? I don't recall. Did it have Patrick Swayze in it? I don't recall. Yeah. <laughs> Um, should it? I don't know. I recall a Civil War thing with Patrick Swayze in it. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I think he was a Confederate. That's Patrick for you. Yeah. Add some ice to this, too, huh? Oh, yeah. It's got that <clears throat> definite gray look. It does. That's a cool look. But it's changing. Yeah. It's before our eyes. See our eyes? Yeah. And see it changing? Yeah. This needs a like a garnish. It look like dirty water. Looks cool. This could use like um I, I would I personally I'm thinking cherry or mm -hmm. even an orange slice or something. Sure. But I'm thinking not right now. Just to set the color off. Yeah. To just like pow. Just like really bring it in. Yeah. I'm trying to energize you to get you, you know, if if the Red Bull doesn't work, that's what I'm here for. Let me get this out of your nose hole cuz maybe they can see it sometimes. Yeah. My nose. Yeah, these. Nostrils. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, mm. It's purple now. It's purple. Oh, yeah. Is it tingling your fruit? 
Oh yeah. It's doing something. <laughs> it's doing something. You just don't know what it is yet? Purple. It is. Yeah. The taste is purple? Yeah. No. It doesn't taste like purple. It tastes like I'm really I'm I'm having a hard time knowing exactly what it tastes like. I get to definitely get a pomegranate. Mm -hmm. Um citrus. Mm-hmm. The sweet vanilla. What is what is in this? What are we looking at here? It's orange something. Oh, is it? Is that where I'm getting citrus from? That's what it has a picture of. Mm. That was good, I think. Oh. Wow. Daddy likey! What is that? It's like a syrupy, <coughs> syrupy citrus mess of goodness. Like ice cream, citrus ice cream or something. You don't like this drink because it's too sweet, isn't it? Is that what your problem is? It's pretty is? sweet. I don't dislike it. It's refreshing. This is a good sit at... Okay. I was going to say, this is something I could sit on the porch and drink. Yeah. But I have this feeling. I'd sit down and within three minutes it would be completely gone. Yeah. And so would I. Oh. Uh, I, I could probably put down a few of these it's, before it becomes an issue. Yeah, there's not very much alcohol. No. You got an ounce of vodka. As a matter of fact, to me, this, this really does taste like... Um, what are we looking at? A, a Shirley Temple, you know, which is Sprite yep. and Grenadine, right? 25% ABV. Yeah. And yeah. This is this is a better ginger uh, Shirley Temple because it's different. It has it has that grenadine balance, like that grenadine vanilla citrus thing, as opposed to just the, you know, the grenadine that you get. It doesn't have the roses type flavor, which just like syrupy. I was cherry. really trying to find the, uh, the the vanilla in there. You're just gonna wait. It's like at the finish, like it, when you when you finish, you have like your tongue is therapy. Yeah, yeah, it really is. <laughs> You're like, and that's where I think the maybe that's the come out. maybe that's the tingle. Oh, so it's more of a a tingle like a syrupy slush on your mouth. Yeah. When would you drink this? I would drink it right oh, now. It's like a after dinner. Oh God, no. Thing. Um, no, I don't think this is after dinner. This is like dessert <laughs> all day. Uh, probably closer to all day. It doesn't have it, it doesn't have, it has a sweetness, but it doesn't have the same sweetnesses that you get from an after dinner drink, which typically has that like either a, a chocolate cream or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. typically they go that way, or a bread mm -hmm. pudding, remember that, mm -hmm. um, or anything like that. It doesn't have like a savory sweetness. Mm -hmm. It has like a juicy. I can you know where this would go good in a meal? Macaroni and cheese, or. <laughs> Or, or chicken fingers. Like, this is like a kid's type drink. I wouldn't drink that drink. and eat anything. Okay, I, I probably wouldn't drink anything and eat, you know, cocktails and macaroni and cheese. No. T typically, they don't pair well together. No. Um, I was going for more Maybe shocker. eat, like, a candy bar with it. That's a lot of sweet. <laughs> That's the only thing. I don't know. I would, I would probably say in the middle of the afternoon after you've just mowed the lawn. Yeah. And you just want to sit down and chill for a minute. Yeah. And you want to chill out, like literally cool off a little bit. Yeah. Have a l something to relax your your bones, but yeah. not ruin you. Okay. Relax your bones. Relax your bones. How about a question of the day? I don't know, but just do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Well, before we go to the question of the day, I put out a poll on Facebook. Uh, where was it? Facebook.com slash Cocktail TV. That's our Facebook fan page. Uh-huh. Pimpin! Um, and then... <laughs> and then I had asked, what are your favorite drinks for the summertime or springtime? Uh -huh. or, mm -hmm. And sweet and sour were like right up at the top. Like mm -hmm. I think it was sour and then sweet right under it. Mm -hmm. So this would fit that mold of the people yeah. who click yes on sweet. Yeah. I think that would bring you there. Yeah. And again, you're not going to get wrecked. You could have two or three of these things. I don't think it's going to be good on calories, but I'm guessing that's what you're concern at the time, especially if you mow the lawn, you burned off like 30, you could put on 60. Lager or ale? Lager or ale! Lager or ale! Doug question. What are you drinking over there? That's a uh, IPA. Yeah. Ale. Or have so, you had the 65% Armageddon beer? 65% Armageddon, Armageddon beer. beer. Have you had a 65% Armageddon beer? What do you like, lager or ale? Me? Wheat beer. I'm an ale guy, but yeah. I like lagers too. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it's a mood thing. I, there are certain lagers I don't care for. Yeah. I, the thing is, most most beers typically are lagered or an ale of some type. And just, I don't really care for Sam Adams lager. Mm -hmm. I like Sam Adams ale. 
So because of that, I typically sway towards ale instead of lager, which is unjust and a travesty, frankly. Hyphen. Hyphen. Hefeweizen? Hefeweizen. There you go. Hefeweizen. So great. He's not a big fan of Hefeweizen. Right? Yeah. Is that your deal? That is correct. You don't like the wheat? The, the suspended? Not really into it. You don't it. like Boston Lager, Derek? I don't like the Boston Lager. I like the, the Boston Ale. The, some of the other ones, the Brick House, is that an ale or a lager? I don't know what else they have. It's only around the Boston area. That isn't too bad. Mm. But I, I think I'm going to stay ale for now. Okay. I'm good with that. Good decision. I like my beer ale. Is that top fermented? Yes. I'd rather have my beer top fermented than in a case. You can, like think about it now. Magic hat number nine. No. <laughs> no. None of that. Maybe it's bottom fermented. Anyway, Who cares? Top fermented says Will. Yeah. There you dude! I aced it! Wow. A plus. One question. Lager is bottom. 50-50. Alright, we're done. Everydaydrinkers.com. Answer the question of the day. Write it below. Does everybody does that anyway? Teach you not to drink.